Hello and welcome to a tutorial on using the weld function on Silhouette Studio. It's a really useful function, especially when using uh, when creating text that has overlaps. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, we're going to pick up our text tool and we're going to pick a font that's that has overlaps. This one we use in Beyond the Mountains, and I'm going to make sure that we've got a centralized text so it's easy to demonstrate what I mean. So I'm going to put a selection here and I'm going to type something in. We're going to go for the world balloon convention San Diego. Perfect. Look at that. And then what I can do is I can click off, click back on, and I'm going to resize it by dragging the corner. And we'll just put it in the middle. And you can see here we have an overlap here. We've got lots of overlaps all over. So it means that if we were to cut this out right now, it would actually cut along all of those red lines. So it would chop out across the other letters. And we want to avoid this wherever possible. And we can also do it with shapes as well that overlap, um, but we mainly use it for texts. Um, and the simple thing is, is that we can actually just right click and we can click this weld function right here. And all I do, click the weld function and look at that. No more overlaps. But what it also does is it creates separates. It's actually separated all of the different letters. So while it's fully selected like this, we can right click and we can either make a compound path or we can group it together. And because we're not going to be taking it apart, we're just going to make the compound path. And you can see now we've lost all of those overlaps and it will cut out as one. Very simple, but a very powerful function, the use of the weld function.